Hey guys, it's Holly at Home Nations, and we've finished bedroom number three tour and the laundry room bathroom tour. And now I'm gonna take you on into the kitchen in this tour and I'm gonna to try to do it way quick, quicker than the last one. So as you can kind of see directly behind me, okay, so that's where we just came from, that bedroom, that laundry room and bathroom are in there. And so now straight out here, there's a closet. There's a very extra large, one of those huge fridges that has the um, pull-out freezer. It's currently unplugged because we don't have tenants in and we have a whole nother fridge, even bigger. So, um, And then there is a deep freeze right here. So that's kind of that little space of extra space for food. I know there's times people want to host or if we have four to seven uh, tenants living in this house, they're going to definitely want enough place that they don't feel crowded on what they want to get of ingredients and in cooking. So that's why. Um, and then you can kind of see that goes back towards the front of the house to, towards that entry living area. But now let me take you through the kitchen. So here's the real fridge, the main fridge. Um, it has ice and water baker and all the stuff inside kind of the same. So you can see the extra fridges and that closet does close so you don't have to look at them. And then the main fridge. Now, walking this way, um, we've got the cooking area here. I One of my favorite features is this double oven. So the top oven opens up for any kind of pies and casseroles, pizzas, french fries, anything that's not super deep, you can cook in there. Instead of having that useless little pot drawer underneath a stove, we actually have an extra thing. And then our bottom one is that standard large size oven. And so it makes cooking for parties and cooking for holidays really, really fast. There's five burners up here. There's that griddle bur burner in the center and it's been fantastic. Um, microwave, <laughs> I'm not gonna explain everything here. And then you can see from here, wrapping on around, there's the view of the backyard, the fire pit, and all the, the kind of that wooded area where the hammocks are is back behind there in the, in the yard. Sink, back door, <laughs> family living area. Sorry for a little mess right there. I've got the, what is that? The patio umbrella for the outdoor picnic table. I brought it in because of the wind the other day and I didn't take it back out. And then lastly, I wanted to show you these countertops. They're kind of sparkly and fun. I don't know if the video catches it very well, but my 10, well, at the time, 10 year old daughter, Tiffany, helped me redo the countertops. She actually did those. She mixed it and poured it. Um, spreaded it and then I just torched it and we redid the countertops here in this kitchen. Um, so there's a lot of storage space in that little island there. And then there's a giant pantry space in here. I think there's a few things left over from, from whatever, random stuff. But deep pantries, very deep pantries. And there's all kinds of tools and appliances in here. And then you obviously you could see on the back side of that we've got a drink station in the kitchen and this has been a fabulous way that you can have the hot water kettles coffee pots any kind of stuff like that I usually have a whole bunch of cups hanging here but we just had company the other day for kind of a play day and I have not emptied the dishwasher yet to hang them all back up and then there's a chalkboard behind me I need to erase some of the chalk on there and sometimes the chalkboard is covered by this sliding barn door. And when the barn door is closed, you get to see the chalkboard. So that's the tour of the main parts of the kitchen. I'm gonna go ahead and walk past it so you can see the back side of it in its entirety from the family living room. It's been a really fun, spacious place. I love the way that it connects into the family room, which is going to be our next tour video.